Good morning. I hope you all are having a wonderful weekend. I'm over at my ironing board. I'm just going to fold this over just a tiny bit. About a quarter of an inch, a centimeter. Just enough to encase these raw edges when we fold it over again to make the casing for the elastic. Then I'm going to fold it over again. Wide enough for my elastic with a little bit of a space because we're going to stitch here. So just a touch more than a half an inch, just to be safe. Like that. Now I'm going to do this to the other end, and I'll meet you back at the sewing machine. Those are both sewn. Now I'm going to take my last stick. I'm going to stick this little thing on there. It's called a bobkin. You could also use a safety pin to feed this elastic through our new opening. It helps if you put it actually in the opening. I'm just going to feed this through, scrunch it, feed it through, scrunch it, like this. Most important thing to remember while doing this is, let me move this a little along a little more, is to not lose your elastic. I'm going to pin it. Or you have to start all over again. I'm going to do it to both sides. So I don't lose the elastic. Ignore that. I just went ahead and tacked it down. Technology is not cooperating today. I tacked down the edges just with a straight stitch just once just to hold the elastic in place. And you have something that looks a little funny but it's fine. I'm going to fold it in half, right sides together, and we're going to sew all the way down. Use a quarter inch, centimeter, whatever you want. Then if you think your fabric's real ravelly, you can do a small zigzag on the outside to prevent raveling. I'll show you that. switch to a narrow zigzag. I'm going to go down the side to help prevent all this loveliness.
it was that fast. Just to help keep the from fraying. Let's turn it inside out. You can, of course, trim all those strings. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Ta-da! Ta-da! Now, I forgot to get some ribbon or cord. Okay, let me find some ribbon or cord and we'll make the top. Let's see what we have in the mystery basket. Mm, blue, blue, oh, black, not lace, uh, that's more like string, white would be fun, too bright, more black, mm, too thick, very thick, a poof, some ducks, Twill tape, very narrow ribbon, which was what was on mine, some medium ribbon, that would work too, either one would work, let's try a piece of ribbon, let's see if we can do, well let's do the medium ribbon, okay, let's try that. We don't need a very big piece. Decide which one you want for your top. I would put the more, if one came out smaller, put that at the bottom. If they're even, doesn't matter. And just next to the seam. I'm going to make a loop. Cut it longer than you need at an angle. Helps prevent raveling. And just sew that right inside, right next to the seam. How's that? I'm back. I just used my zigzag stip, stitch. And there you go. Now you have something to hang. Your grocery, shopping bag, plastic bag, storage thing from. There we go. Ta-da! And then, of course, more strings. I need to go in there and turn those strings off. That's all there is. I hope you give it a try. I hope you remember to trim your strings on the inside. <laughs> well, anyway, isn't that pretty fabric? So, make you a plastic bag storage holder. And hang it up somewhere handy. The front hall, the back hall, by your garage, pantry, kitchen, somewhere convenient. And then when you go somewhere and you need some shopping bags, you'll have something to take along with you or just grab a couple. All right. I uh, appreciate you watching. Please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Mm -hmm.